Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite books for software engineering. Now, it's quite a diverse group. There's some more for beginners, there's some more for people towards the middle stages of their career. But I think all these are really, really good and hope you enjoyed them as much as I have. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first book is The Passionate Programmer by Chad Fowler. Now, if you know me, you know I love career development. I love talking about career development. That is the majority of this channel is career development for software engineers how to interview well, how to continue to grow, how to meet goals, how to get better, all that kind of thing. And this book is essentially that, but it is way better than a lot of stuff I say. Honestly, it's great. It is so good. And it's just chock full of wisdom from this guy who's been doing it. I think at the time he wrote it, he'd been doing it for more than 20 years and completely self-taught for the most part. So Chad just has a lot of really, really good wisdom about how to learn, how to grow, how to set goals for yourself, how to advance at your company, how to learn technologies, whether to specialize or to be a generalist. Basically anything you could think of is in this book. There's chapters on career growth, automation, how to grow, what job offers to take. So basically anything you could think of, this is an excellent resource. I would highly recommend it for anyone, no matter where they are in their career, whether that's towards the beginning, middle, or even towards the end. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you're interested in talking about that kind of stuff, which I expect you are because you're here on this channel, then consider picking up a copy of The Passionate Programmer by Chad Fowler. The next book or actually set of books is a little bit more towards the beginner side, but they are so good. I just had to mention them. So these are the front end development books, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript from John Duckett. And I went out and bought these books as I was beginning development. I haven't read them cover to cover, but I think they're excellent for beginners. They offer a ton of interesting illustrations and are just laid out really beautifully. They are really beautiful books and do a really good job of explaining the concepts of front end development in a way that's super exciting. Accessible. These books are so popular that they're often in the number one or number two spot on Amazon in the web development category. And if you just open them on Amazon and see a little bit of what they look like on the inside, then you'll understand why I'm saying they're so beautiful. They're just really excellent books. And so if you're looking to get into web development and you like reading rather than watching videos, for example, I would check these books out with the caveat that I'm a big proponent of learning by doing. So if you're gonna do anything, then do the real thing. But short of that, I think these books are really great if you like reading books about web development. The third book I'm going to recommend is Refactoring UI by Adam Wathen and Steve Shoger. This book has sold over a million dollars on Gumroad, which is pretty incredible. And if you pick it up, you'll see why. Essentially, Refactoring UI is a way for developers to design really striking and beautiful applications. And once you begin to pick up on the patterns that they talk about in this book, you'll see them everywhere. But essentially what it does is it allows you to take the kind of standard bootstrap style pattern patterns that you see everywhere that look okay, but not really that great. And it shows you how to refactor those UI patterns into really striking, beautiful designs for your web applications. And what's really great about this is you don't have to go to design school. You don't have to go to a design bootcamp and become a UI designer in order to implement these. It is crafted for developers so that developers can begin using these patterns. So it's basically very practical and action oriented and gives you a ton of wisdom as to how to apply these patterns to your everyday development and it's really great. So that's Refactoring UI by Adam Wathen and Steve Shoger. The fourth book I'll mention is called The Imposter's Handbook by Rob Connery. Now I love this book. I love it for a lot of reasons. It's been super helpful to me. So I haven't read it cover to cover. I've kind of picked and chosen what I've wanted based on what I've needed to learn at any given time. But essentially the premise for this book is that there's kind of this chunk of stuff that you would learn in a CS degree that a lot of self-taught people don't have, including myself before I read this book. And so so essentially what the premise of the book is, is it wants to teach you all those things that sound really scary and complicated that you might not have picked up otherwise. For example, big O notation, algorithms, lambda calculus, stuff like that. And so the book breaks these things down chapter by chapter in a way that's really accessible. And it also has uh, accompanying videos, which I have purchased, so I have those. And it shows you how to solve algorithms, the algorithms that are in the book that the book talks about. So it's basically just a really, really great resource for people that may want to try and fill in the gaps that feel like maybe coming through a boot camp or what have you self-taught might not have filled in all the gaps that there's stuff that people who have CS degrees might know that you might not know. If that is you, then this is really the book for you. I have a colleague or former colleague who read this in a weekend, so it could be potentially a quick read depending on who you are and depending on how fast you read. Now, I'm not a fast reader, so that doesn't apply to me. And as I've mentioned, I've used this more as a reference, but regardless, I think this would be a great book to pick up for you if you fall into that kind of 
category of wanting to fill in the gaps. And the last book I'll talk about is called Code, The Hidden Language of Computer Hardware and Software by Charles Petzold. Now, I've mentioned this book really briefly in the past on my channel, and unfortunately, I still haven't made as much progress in it as I would like to. But essentially, this book is really, really incredible. It's kind of in the vein of the last book and that it teaches you things that maybe you always wanted to know that you just haven't taken the time to learn. So it teaches you how computers work, basically from literally a ones and zeros perspective all the way up to a graphics card. And it uses these really interesting metaphors to explain how things work. So for example, for binary, he talks about two neighbors that are sending messages to each other using flashlights by turning flashlights on and off. And from there, he goes to Morse code. From Morse code, he goes to Braille and then eventually to binary. And so by using these metaphors, he builds his way up basically from the bottom all the way to the computers that we know and love today. And so this is a really great book for getting kind of a foundational understanding in how computers and software actually work. And if that's the kind of thing that you've always wanted to know, then this is going to be a great book for you. That's Code by Charles Petzold. So those are my five favorite books to do with software development. I'd love to know what are yours? What's something I should read? Did I miss anything that you think should definitely be on this list? If that's the case, let me know in the comments. I always try and reply when you guys engage and I love when that happens. So just let me know if you have thoughts. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which revolves around software engineering, career development, as I mentioned, and also personal finance and self-improvement in general. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one.